In this video, I'm going to teach a very simple defense that you can use that's going to really uh, be a very uh, specific breakdown as to why we can really handle uh, spread out of the nickel triple. Now, this is two by two spread, something you're not going to get a ton this year. Uh, just with the way that the game plays, you're going to get more doubles or you're going to get more uh, bunch of trips, right? Trip side insets. Uh, but this is something that I think some of the better band players, some of the better passers in the world still like spread. Now, with that being said, we're going to show you a defense in this video that can help you with that. Now, uh, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I do videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Today, we're talking about the nickel triple. This is, I mean, I just keep coming back to this defense. I love this defense. It's really, really fun to play and really, really fun to run. And it's actually relatively simple. Um, it's more of a blitz-based defense than a coverage-based defense. You're going to pretty much always send uh, at least uh, at least three. Um, occasionally, you might send two. I like sending two, three, or five, or six, okay? Um, that's pretty much what I'll do. You don't really ever need to send more than six to basically guarantee your pressure against any set. So with that in mind, today we're going to talk about what I like to do against spread. And if you want to learn more about the nickel triple, I've got a full ebook available in my patreon membership by joining the patreon um that's going to get you access to every madden 22 ebook that i've released so far so far we've released 13 ebooks and we actually just released a major one hour update uh, to this nickel triple explaining exactly what abilities you need to do what roster you need on mutt if you're playing in regs how you can basically do the same basic concepts and then also how you can uh, how you can uh, utilize zone coverages in combination with some of the main coverages so really really fun defense to run and i just can't wait to get into the video so we're going to come out of one of the better plays uh, out of this gun spread wide slot we're gonna have two uh, we're gonna talk about this pa comeback but really more sp uh, we're gonna spend more time today specifically on uh, deep attack now one of the major issues uh, when you defend a spread set, especially a spread set that has a tight end um, as a flexed out player, is what I call free access throws. What that basically means is I'm going to come out and cover one linebacker blitz. You can find the nickel triple in the Bears playbook, by the way. So I'm going to cover one linebacker blitz, okay? So here's your biggest challenge. If you take a look here, I'm going to press coverage. Well, what you're going to notice in this one I'm talking about when I say free access throws. So if I take the tight end, and this is a perfect example is on a post and I just and I just throw this what you're gonna see here is he's not gonna get jammed so I have plenty of time to be able to throw the ball and he can cut that off and make a play another real easy route would be a simple slant right free access throw he can just easily throw that against a man a man look what I like to do and this is what I'm really liking at this point in the year especially in spread uh, spread trips Anything where the receivers aren't like bunched together real tight. And I still like it against those type sets, but I really, really love it when they're spread. That's my favorite defense or my favorite formation to face because I know that this coverage and this pressure combination is really good against it. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show blitz. What you're going to see is when we show blitz, now that tight end that was getting a free release every time, now he's not. So now he's got to be able to beat off a, get off a jam, and look at that coverage now. Completely different, and you're going to get picks after picks after picks because people are just going to throw the slant or they're just going to chuck the in route or whatever. Now you've got them really in a position. Um, another popular thing that people like to do out of spread to beat man-to-man -man is they love little zigs to the slot. Like in this example here, little zig, those aren't going to have a tough time beating that, right? You, you might get me for a couple every now and then, but I'll pick off a couple too, and you can see how the defense will play that. So the first thing that I like to do is show blitz on this adjustment. The second thing that I like to do is, and this is something that's really unique to nickel triple, a couple different options that you can do here. What I like to do is have the guy that is manned up on the running back be on the same side as the running back, okay? So the way that we could do that is twofold. We could go ahead and globally blitz our linebackers and then just show blitz until the linebacker goes in the gap and then just man up this guy onto the running back and then now we're going to come down here with this guy right here kind of hover right in this gap and what you should see is we're going to get pretty good pressure off the edge that's kind of option a all right and i do really like that that concept i'll show this again so again just globally blitz your linebackers uh press until they go into the gaps and then show blitz so just like that and then I've got that guy man locked on the back. Now what I can do here is, let's say for example that the running back, they say, well, we're gonna block the running back to try to pick up some pressure. Normally you'll still be able to get the pressure in. Normally it'll still come in. 
especially um, especially in this year's game, blocking the running back. This is why most people don't run spread is actually kind of is difficult to pick up a lot of blitzes. So, anyways, the next thing that we can do though is we can flip the play. Notice that when we flip the play, especially out of cover one, it gives us a very advantageous alignment. So you're gonna see right here we can still show blitz, and now all we have to do literally just flip the play, show blitz. You're gonna stand right here. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to get double pressure off of that right edge, as you can see. Okay? Very, very good concept. So just literally flip the play, show blitz is what I, literally it. That's it. That's all I do. And then when you come down in here like this, now you've got a really, really good alignment for what you want to do. What I would recommend personally is the shade coverage outside. If for whatever reason they pick up the pressure, you need to make sure that you're bailing back to the middle of the field. But as you can see, this pressure is really, really good. And then... Let's say, for example, that you want to play a little coverage out of it. Um, you can still do that. Um, all you're going to do is you're just going – so you see here we have this set up like this. But now what we're going to do – okay, you know, because, again, they'll start running the running backs on out routes or something. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to hard flat both of our linebackers. We're going to crash our D-line up, uh, and then we're going to drop the defensive tackle on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz assignment. So you see it looks like that. And now we've got pretty good coverage. And what you should see is that running back should get man locked by that three wreck. And as you see, the pressure is still really good, especially against spread sets, because what we're going to get is three one on ones. Or not, or um, I'm sorry, we're going to get two one on ones on the outside just based on the alignment of nickel triple, which is what makes it so good, in my opinion. And then also we've got this nose tackle. Um, and, th and this is like the perfect front for spread. Just flip it to this side, because now you can drop these backers out just like so. You've got the. Uh, the bluff blitz there that it's going to be kind of your rat kind of covered underneath and then you're basically responsible for you know some type of skinny post route and what you'll find with this play especially like a pa comebacks for example you start to get them blocking people now you've got something like this and as you can see the coverage is really really good um, you're just looking for a crosser over the middle basically is your responsibility as the deep third defender you're looking for a deep post if you don't see a deep post on the field then you're looking for a crosser if you don't see that then i would recommend looking for like a slant or some type of some type of quick route but that is pretty much the defense how it works against spread it's really really simple and it's really really good i have to tell you this is probably my favorite defense right now in the game especially with the way that man coverage is starting to significantly improve because we're getting better cards and ultimate team uh if you're in regs i you in regs you can do this because the route running is not super high so you could grab the Packers or you could grab even the Bucks, and you just need fast outside corners. That's really all you need, uh, fast outside corners. I would recommend trying to find people that could press. If you're really worried about, um, if you're really worried about getting burned over the top, just shade your coverage over the top. Um, but th what this does is it gives them the illusion that they're going to get jammed at the snap, and so they'll start they'll start just you know trying to throw fades. Well, then you got them shaded up, and you're going to bag that every time. So, anyways, um, you know if I was going to do a, a true shade, you could shade outside and over top. And then that'll take away pretty much any kind of fade. And you see how good the pressure is from this. I mean, the pressure is insane. You're, you're typically going to get, you might get a gap, you might get edge. I mean, it's just, you're going to get somebody in. So anyways, just a simple defense that you can use to pretty much take care of spread at a high degree. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to learn more about this defense or if you want to get better at the game, be sure to join my Patreon. For just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access to every Madden 22 ebook that I release. Now, uh, the other cool part about that is if you don't want to extend it a month, if you if you only want it for one month or whatever, maybe you stop playing the game, you can cancel that at any time. So it's not like a 12-month thing where you sign up forever. So if you are thinking about joining the Patreon, head on down to the description. Click that link. It'll take you right over to the website where we can uh, get you guys uh, all squared away and get you guys those ebooks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.